All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, 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 Dean Bodie Show. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Dean Bodie Show. How are you? Happy Fourth of July! Fourth of July, Dean Bodie special. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Let's get it kicked off on the right foot. Fourth of July style, Dean Bodie style. Who's the good girl? Good girl Bodie, good good girl, good girl Bodie, she's the best girl in the world, yeah, good girl Bodie, good good girl, good girl Bodie, she's the best girl in the world, oh yeah, DeanBodie.com, 800-878-9698, Bodie Hotline, Fun Line, call the Bodie Line, she's waiting for you, hey, it's 4th of July, say something fireworky to Bodie, Hey, say your name, where you're from. We'll give you a shout-out on the show. That's how we do it over here, Dean Bodie. Sing your zippity doo song. We'll sing it along with you. Man, how exciting is this? We have all kinds of fun stuff planned today. So many things going on. It's, you know, we were going to do this last week, and I'm like, you know what? Fourth of July is coming up. Why not make it a Fourth of July special? Hey, sounds like a plan to me. So, that being said, let's get this uh, this thing kicked off on the right foot. And um, the first thing, there's so much going on over here. The first thing I got to talk about is, it's almost like a UFO sighting. It's so rare these days. We're walking around the neighborhood, Dean, uh, me and Bodie the other day, as we do. And we run into this guy and we see him climbing the telephone pole, the old wood style telephone poles. Yeah, they're still around and there's a bunch of them around here. But this guy is fixing one of the telephone cables and he's shimmying up the pole. Old school. And he's got the boots with the spikes on them. And he's got that thing around his waist, that thing that goes around the pole. So he, um, he does... His little uh, shimmy up the pole with the spikes. One, two, spike, shimmy. One, two, spike, shimmy. And he's rolling up the pole, and I'm like, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I didn't know these guys were still around. He's got the cool cowboy hat on. He's got the boots with the spikes in them. He's got the band around his waist that goes around the pole to help him shimmy up to the very tippy top so he can do his repair work. When I was a little boy watching these guys go up the pole, these guys were like, were like superheroes to me. So immediately in my mind, I'm thinking the guy's going up the pole. I haven't seen this in forever. And I, we just had to stop Bodie and I decided to stop and look at this guy. Bodie was checking him out. I was checking him out. And I'm like, this is, number one, it's real work, okay? (laughs) Number two, he's killing it. You can tell he's been doing this forever. He looked like he was in his 60s, still doing it, um, you know, just built like a brick. And when he came back down, he had to do something else, and he was pulling on this cable, the real thick, um, telephone line cable. And this is not light work. And he's got it wrapped around his waist and he's leaning back and he's pulling and he's pulling this cable down the parking lot. I don't know why there isn't a machine doing that, but this guy is doing it. He's putting his back into it. He's putting everything he's got into it. And I'm like, seriously? It didn't even look like he was breaking a sweat, like he's been doing this forever. And it was just the coolest thing to watch. Much respect going out to these guys still climbing the old telephone poles and doing it. So I start thinking of Glenn Campbell. Why? Because he's got a song that kind of relates to this, and um, it's pretty wild. So we're going to do some sing-alongs today, and, uh, you know... And do some stuff like that and do some zippity doo dah songs and do fortune cookie fun days coming today and all kinds of fun stuff is going on. And a big announcement. It's only not only going to challenge me, but we're going to see if we can pull it off and kind of do a resurgence of Dean Bodie's show and really get it dialed in. So, um, you know, here we go. And that's what we're doing. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. And that's how we're going to do it, zippity doo style. And uh, 
I'm thinking of this tune by Glenn Campbell, and uh, it's a great song, number one. And the whole Glenn Campbell experience in the Greatest Hits album took me down another rabbit hole. Yes, I went and got the Greatest Hits album, and, um, you know, that's kind of how we do it. And uh, so here we go. Ready or not, here it comes. We're going to do it. I know we can think of it. If we just take a deep breath, we can do it. And uh, the Wichita lineman is still on the line. What an awesome song. I'm going into the greatest hits. And I see down on the greatest hits. Um, Times Like These is in his album. And I'm like, that sounds familiar. So I listen to it and I go, I know these lyrics. The Foo Fighters did this song, but they just did a resurgence of it. It's times like these and time and time again. It's times like these we learn to live again. It's times like these and time and time again. Except... Glenn Campbell's version was on the acoustic guitar doing it kind of country style. But you see where these little rabbit holes take you. It went from the Wichita Lineman song after seeing this guy climbing the flagpole to the Glenn Campbell's greatest hits down to times like these into the Foo Fighters. Listen, there's so many things at our fingertips right now. It's crazy. And we're doing our little zippity doo dah. And I thought about the easiest zippity doo dah song that you can do. And what they do is they clean the cobwebs out of your brain. They reset your nervous system. They rejuvenate. They reactivate. And they replenish your system. And get your mind off of all the old nonsense, the COVID schmovid pandemic schmandemic and Dr. Fettuccini. Oh, we're going to get into some of that a little bit today too, because it's getting into a little nutty land over there as before we get into all of that vaccines at McDonald's and not talking about our immune system. Uh, and uh, what a first of all, yeah, yeah we're going to get into it right now. First of all, McDonald's Okay, an immune system. Talk about an oxymoron. Oh, yeah, excuse me. I would like one Happy Meal, uh, one Big Mac, one quarter pounder with cheese, a, f a two large fry, and a large diet Dr. Pepper, and uh, uh, 12 McNuggets. And also, let me get a filet of fish and um, one of your um, McFlurries. Can you do that, please? And supersize it. Oh, and while we're at it, while I'm waiting, can I get a vaccine shot? Oh, why aren't we talking about our immune systems ever? Why aren't we talking about supplementation and good diet and exercise to keep your immune system strong instead of all these variants? Oh, no. Look out. It's the Delta variant. Because as we know, when you put a Greek letter attached to something, it sounds more scary. Look out. It's the Delta. And I saw this headline the other day, and it said, the Delta variant is like COVID on steroids. Oh, there's a real scientific explanation. Let's, whatever we have to say something that makes it sound more intense or more whatever, just have to add like it's on steroids. So after the Delta wears out its welcome, and it will, and everybody starts getting comfortable again and getting on with their normal life, oh, I don't know. We'll probably get into, look out, you thought the Delta was bad. Here comes Alpha. The Alpha makes the Delta look like, oh, I don't know, child's play. It's like the Delta variant on steroids. So let's get real. Vaccines at McDonald's, no immune system talk, no nothing. Hey, I got my bulletproof coffee in me today, my functional coffee, my supplements. I'm doing all the, you know, a good, nice whole food multi-mineral and all, you know, taking my vitamin D like I'm supposed to, a good 
uh, omega-3, a quercetin, which is iono-4, helps zinc get across the cell membrane. I got a zinc supplement from the Bulletproof guy that's got copper in it also. And not to mention glutathione, the master antioxidant of the body. Yes, I'm taking that, baby. Oh, yeah. So... We're all, ju- we're all juiced up over here, and we're doing our 30-day blitz with the probiotics from OHS. Man, the 30-day blitz is all of these probiotics in a little packet and flood your system with probiotics and healthy flora to crank up your immune system like it's on steroids. <laughs> so a 30-day blitz, you do it for 30 days straight, right? And uh, speaking of the 30-day blitz, um, we're going to be doing something special at Dean Bodie show, calling it the 30-day blitz or something along those lines. It seems to be fitting because I have another box of this floor, a 30-day blitz. So I got a few more to do on this 30-day blitz. We're going to take a little break. And then we're going to hit it again because you have pounds of friendly bacteria in your intestines. Big part of your immune system, nothing to be playing around with because as we eat all the garbage and the junk and the pollution in the air, I live close to the airport. We got airplanes flying over our head that, oh, I don't know, maybe my energy is coming from all the radiation and the chemtrails. Oh, no. Whoa, UFO sightings up in the air lately. Well, where are they? They're not coming down here saying hello to me. Secondly, we got fires in the ocean again. Nice going. We got homeless problems in uh, over there in Venice Beach in California with the wars over there. We got Portland all over the place with all this mayhem and craziness and all of this stuff going on. This world is upside down and we're trying to get excited about the 4th of July and the fireworks. And I have my Jimi Hendrix shirt on. I'm standing up. If you can see it, it's got the flag on it because he used to play the star spangled banner on the electric guitar. Oh, and he did it with his teeth. (laughs) Okay. So Jimi Hendrix, man, you rock. R.I.P. Made me think of you. And behind me, we got the fireworks show on the big screen. That's behind me there. We're trying to get it dialed in. We got even the red pop filter on the microphone to add a little essence to the show. Paying attention to the details, right? So listen, we all have a new opportunity and a new chance in life. You know what it's called? Tomorrow. That's what it's called. So be excited about what you have while you're pursuing what you want. What do you say? Be excited and be thankful for what you have and be happy with it while you're pursuing what you want. Oh yeah. Hey Millie. Yeah. Wow. You hear that one? That was a good one. Be happy with what you have while you're pursuing what you want. Oh, I know. I heard that one. Very cool. Nice going, Dean Bodie. I like that one. I'm going to write it down. So that being said, um, I got this, all this stuff in my mind and all these crazy things and all of this tipsy turvy things going on in the world. Look, can we just learn to love your neighbor? Can you start there? Treat others like you want to be treated. All the rest is commentary gang. You know, that's all. I have the guy across the parking lot. We have everybody living around in these apartments from all walks of life. And we seem to be getting along really well over here. And the guy across the parking lot who I've known for, I don't know, eight years or more, brings me over the other day some homemade pastries that he made because he wants to open up a bakery. And he looks at me and he goes, you know, I'm Muslim, right? And I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't know what gave it away, the headgear and the, and the, 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 the robes and all that, but I had a feeling. <laughs> So, you know, I mean, come on. So we have a few laughs and he called me his brother the other day. And, you know, we have some spiritual conversations and we keep it light. We don't push anything on anybody and we just do our thing. But he brought over some pastries and some dates. Um, He gave me a mango the other day. It was beautiful mango. Very cool, right? My new neighbors next door to me were getting along like peanut butter and jelly. Okay, and the mom has to stay over there for a little while with the lovely couple because of the 100 year storm we just had with the snow and the ice and her pipes in her house ended up exploding. 
So all kinds of work had to be done. But hey, Allstate Insurance, the good hands people came through for her. It's nice to hear a nice story come out of something like that. And they refixed everything. They're giving her new flooring, new vanity. They're painting the whole place. What a great thing. So she's all excited about this new thing. And I said, how cool is it that it's working out, even though she had to stay over here for four months while they were fixing it. But hey, she got closer to her son and uh, his girlfriend and did some home cooking. So what I'm trying to get at is she brought over some home cooking for me the other day. Soul food, baby. Old school. The collard greens. The... uh, the pork and beans and the, um, you know, the neck bone stuff and all of this old soul food kind of warm, fuzzy and homemade cornbread. I was like, wow, I got the Muslim guy across the street bringing me pastries. I got the next door neighbors over here, beautiful black uh, couple and, and their mom and brought me over some soul food. And we got upstairs for me, we got um, all kinds of different walks of life, too. I think from maybe from Ghana, uh, from Haiti, and all kinds of stuff around. And we're all saying hi to each other. We're all getting along just fine. Treat others like you want to be treated. All the rest is commentary. Now, me being a gout sufferer, (laughs) and I'm on a regimen and all this other stuff, and I grew up Jewish, okay, And, uh, you know, I listen, I'm spiritual and I don't push anything on anybody. And I was bar mitzvahed and grew up as a Jew. And we did not celebrate Christmas and all this other stuff. And I've kind of gone going down my own road right now as I've kind of zigzagged and trying to find our way with this all this spirituality. And God, if you're listening up there with all that's going on, I know you have a sense of humor because the Dean Bodie show is kind of a comedy show and it's a show about real life experiences and personal life stories. If you Google it, Dean Bodie show will come up. Um, and, uh, we're doing our thing over here and entertaining and we go down crazy road and goofy street and wacko Avenue and we park it over here in freakazoid park and hang out for a while. That's how we do it over here. Dean Bode. So what I'm trying to say is all this stuff going on. And I think about what I've gone through as I'm coming up on five years of clean and sober living and all this other stuff. And, uh, Judaism growing up with that and all of that. And I think about gout because I think the Jews invented the gout. I think they invented the disease because they ate too much schmaltz. What is schmaltz? Well, it's basically chicken fat dipped in chicken fat, coated in chicken fat, soaked in chicken fat, and wrapped in more chicken fat. And you spread that on toast and eat that your whole life and see if you don't get gout. Oh, yeah, I said it. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, I was talking to a, a big shout out to M's Diary, who, um, wow, she's got a great little channel. Check out M's Diary, EMZ Diary. What a fun show. She's out there in London, England. And we started, we had a little back and forth about, I don't think I ever had crumpets. I've been out in London, and I think with some room service and all, I must have had a crumpet on the plate, but I can't remember. All right. But we had it back when she was like, you don't know what you're missing. And I'm like, I know. Well, I tell you, between crumpets and schmaltz, you know, I don't know. (laughs) So anyway, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking about how God has a sense of humor. And I'm looking at that as a Jew and, you know, the crucifixion and all these other things. And I'm going to ruffle a few feathers here today. I have a feeling, but that's okay. We're going to have fun with it anyway. Remember, God has a sense of humor. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a platypus, an orangutan. Um, There wouldn't be a, a porcupine and there wouldn't be a possum. And God knows there wouldn't be a hammerhead shark. What's going on with the hammerhead shark? The hammerhead shark must be going through it down there in the deep blue sea as the puffer fish walks up to him and goes, look, you got a hammer on your head. Can you smash this rock for me? I'm trying to build a house for my family. And he's like, I'd like to do that. But the hammer on my head, my eyes are inside the hammer. So if I hit it with my head, I can lose an eye. Can't do it. 
And he says to the puffer fish, why couldn't God put the hammer on my tail when I could give a good whack at something with my tail? Oh, no. He put it on my head, and now I can't do anything or whatever. This guy's got a hammer on his head looking for a nail that he'll never hit. Whoa. How crazy is that? So we know that God has a sense of humor. And I'm thinking, instead of the crucifix... And as I fix this over here, Dean Bodie, as my computer's deciding to do its little zippity doodah on my hoo-ha, and I'm going to find it, and there we go. We're back again. So I th- thought about this for a second, and I'm like, you know what? Instead of the crucifix and all that stuff, if they would have used the Star of David and hung everybody from that instead of the cross, just a few more two-by-fours, I wouldn't have gout. There wouldn't be a problem. We wouldn't have COVID and all these other things. Now, go into the whole turning water into wine. Let's get serious for a second about that. Is that a good idea? No, because we created the first giant group of alcoholics. You should have turned the the wine back into water so we can hydrate and get healthy and we're not wandering around the desert for 40 days and 40 nights going, hey, where are we? We're lost and dehydrated and we're dropping like flies back here. Can you turn the wine back into water? Okay, so... He's not going to talk about Moses, is he? Yes, he is. Because Moses went on the top of the Mount Sinai and thinking about the water into wine thing for a moment, he goes up the top of Mount Sinai and he's coming down with what was not the Ten Commandments. In my opinion, what it was was the first 10 steps to Alcoholics Anonymous. Oh, yeah, I said it. Now, to switch gears a little bit and let you chew on that for a little while, that God has a sense of humor and we're doing our thing over here, have some fun with it. (laughs) Oh, man. So watch out for the schmaltz. Have yourself a crumpet. Take a sip of uh, Earl Grey tea and relax. All right? So, um, you know, oh, my gosh. Anyway, so take it back. Do, 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 take it back. Oh, yeah, take it back. Do, 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 take it back. So, look, we're going down here. We're going to see what's going on over your Dean Bodie show. We're having so much fun. The Tampa Bay Lightning in hockey. Oh, my gosh, the Stanley Cup playoffs are cranking. Tampa Bay, three games to zero. The next game, I think, is tomorrow night. In Montreal. Come on, Tampa! I used to live out there, so. Oh, yeah! Oh, my gosh. So, speaking of Dr. Fauci. But before we get into that, I wanted to talk about how um, not only this special announcement, but the 30-day blitz is coming, and uh, all this vaxxed and confused kind of behavior and i ran into a a thing i was looking at my boy the rock and roller uh, the red rocker sammy hagar and um he said a cool thing the other days when was the last time you did something for the first time when was the last time you did something for the first time and uh that's kind of his attitude every single day try to do something new you've never done before talk about that's a zippity doodah song Except you're putting that into action and cleaning out the cobwebs and learning something new, you know? So that was pretty wild. Nice going, Sammy. Sammy's going to have a residency also out in Las Vegas. Keep on cranking, Sammy. Keep on doing your thing. And uh, God, I love that guy. And um, I thought about the zippity doo songs that we do here. The simplest one that you can do, okay, is um I am a lineman for the county and I drive the main road searching in the sun for another overload I hear you singing in the wire I can hear you through the wine And the Wichita lineman Is still on the line Yes, Glenn Campbell! 
Oh my gosh, I'm getting chills. Hair sticking up. Go get Glenn Campbell's greatest hits. This poor guy. R.I.P. Glenn, who went down the Alzheimer's road at the end and really had a rough ending there, but what great music. What a footprint you left on this planet, baby. Oh yeah, Wichita lineman. So, not to mention, he's a rhinestone cowboy. He's got a bunch of great hits. You got to go check it out. And uh, before I lose it here, the simplest zippity doo song to clean out the cobwebs of your brain, clean out the wax out of your ears, get the nasal hairs whacked out of your nose, get the phlegm out of your throat, clean out your hoo-ha and give you a nice little zippity doo so you can get on with your hoo-ha. The ABC song. How easy is that? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, and Y, and Z. Now I sang my ABCs, won't you come and sing with me? Oh yeah, Dean Bodie style. That's all. Sing the ABC song. Can you tell me how to get... How to get to Sesame Street on my way. Everything's A-OK on my way to where the air is clear. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? Dr. Fettuccine, dial it down. What's going on with you and all of your nonsense? And everybody that's dead... Um, if they were got vaccinated, would still be alive. Enough. Okay? We just invented the thing like three days ago. The variants are coming all over the place. And the this and the that. We don't know what's going on. So settle down with the whole thing. You follow me? Okay. Well, that's good. Because it's getting a little nutty out there. Right? And, uh, you know, I'm going to sing my zippity doo dah song and not get all wrapped up in the whole thing because we're getting vaccines at McDonald's and we're not even talking about immune system building and all of that to keep all the, the scary things away and keep all that stuff at bay. That's how we're going to do it. Let's see what's going on over here. Once again, hey, every time I think about, every time they say his name, Dr. Fettuccini, you should hear this. Right? Dr. Fettuccini. That's in my opinion. What and all thinking about that noise just now, the noise pollution that's going on around here is a little ridiculous. Not only do we have the planes flying over our heads, I can almost reach up and touch them, but we got the garbage truck coming in. And the garbage truck comes coming in the parking lot, picks up the garbage can, a gush, a gush, and then backs out, beep, 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 beep. Seriously? 7.30 in the morning. Thank you very much, garbage guy. Could you imagine in all the Amazon trucks, the deliveries, and all these guys with their beeps when they back up? Could you imagine if every vehicle did that when they backed up? Not only do we have car alarms going off unnecessarily, but can you imagine? Think about it. The garbage truck guy slamming down the garbage truck and the garbage can really loud, sets off the car alarm, then backs up with the beeping noise. Then we got planes flying over our heads, and I'm like, can we have a little quiet time? So when it is, <laughs> when it is quiet around here, it's like a miracle, and you really just kind of relish in the quiet. Yesterday, we had a little quiet time, and... Uh, Bodie crashed out on her big bed. I crashed out on mine. And one of those naps where you go deep and you forget where you are when you wake up. You know, what day is it again? Man, unbelievable. And we got into our zone and we do our thing over here, Dean Bodie style. Let's see what else is going on over here, Dean Bodie. So much to talk about. So much going on. Right, Bodie? All right. So... Check it out. We did the shout out. Okay, once again, M's Diary. Check it out. You're going to like it. We went on a little train ride with M's Diary. It was kind of fun. And uh, as she took us around, a little traveling she was doing. The episode, uh, previous episode, she got into something a little more serious topic about um, dual personality disorder. I've struggled. Let me tell you something before I get into this. I have struggled. I have struggled. Excuse me. 
with anxiety, depression, the branches of anxiety, depersonalization, derealization. I've been diagnosed with bipolar, addictions, alcoholism, drug addiction, all of that stuff. You wonder why my nervous system is all over the place. Well, okay. So I don't point fingers at anybody. All right. I just know what my experience is with that. And you do the best you can with what you have. But I know good quality nutrition, living a cleaner life. My body is functioning way better. Just had all my lab work done not too long ago. Everything came back normal. It doesn't happen by accident. All right. Just like doing the wrong things takes a lot of work. Doing the right things takes a lot of work, too. As we're moving down the road, staying positive with all of this craziness in the air, in the world, man, you got to be thinking clearly. You just can't buy into, you got to read between the lines. Doing the right thing is always the right thing, right? Good nutrition, healthy eating exercise is always positive. Nothing negative there. Sorry to break it to you. It's nothing negative there, all right? We should be talking about it more. That being said... Let's see what's going on over here, Dean Bodie. And the Wichita lineman is still on the line. Glenn Campbell is in the brain. God, I love that guy. Not only that, but I was watching a thing about Alice Cooper, the rocker, who used to play golf with Glenn and knew families were very close of all people, Alice Cooper. But Alice Cooper's been clean and sober I don't know, 30 plus years now. And um, this guy talked about Glenn, how, how awesome of a guitarist he was. And there was a lot of people in the rock world that respected Glenn as one of the best guitarists on the planet. How's that? Oh my, for an endorsement. Holy moly. So let's see what's going on over Dean Bode. We got a lot going on. And uh, Dallas, Texas, baby. So... Oh, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about that and, uh, and Subway. Here we go. So <clears throat> speaking of the variants and all of this stuff and Delta, it's like COVID on steroids. And look out after that. It's going to be alpha. And then we're going to go gamma. And then we're going to do all the, other, all the other Greek letters to scare everybody and, you know, and all that stuff. Summa cum laude. Watch out when we get magnum cum laude and summa cum laude. Okay, so Alpha Theta Thigh, Alpha Theta Thigh variant is coming. Watch out. Okay, so Gordon Ramsay was doing this recipe the other day, and I think in M's diary, you can correct me if I'm wrong, and as George Carlin would have said if he was here, correct me if I'm wrong. Why don't you come back when you know what you're talking about? Okay, so how about some legit, before I get into Gordon Ramsay and Subway, Okay, and their whole problem now with their fake tuna. I can't wait to dive into this in a second. Let's get a little bit of ALEXA involved because it's the 4th of July. We had the 4th of July firework screen behind me. We got the, the red pop filter 4th of July vibe going the best that we can do and the Jimi Hendrix t-shirt on with the American flag on it. Hey, I'm trying to do the best I can with it and I got Bodie who's white and we put the red and white harness on her and walk around, we're dialed in enough. We don't need to do fireworks and blow our fingers off, okay? So that being said, here's a little firework for you. See that? Oh, yeah. All right, Tampa Bay Lightning, baby, come on. All right, so Gordon Ramsay he gets into a recipe and what we call cilantro, they call coriander, okay? It's not coriander, it's cilantro. If you're from West Virginia, it's cilantro. If you're from Jersey, it's cilantro. Just ask Joey at Joey's Pizza, he'll put a little cilantro on your slice, okay? So, look, I thought that was kind of funny. But anyways, so, hey Alexa. What's the joke of the day? Today I have a fireworks joke. How do you know two fireworks are in love? Sparks fly. Ah. Uh, A-L-E-X-A came through with the 4th of July joke. How do you know when two fireworks are in love? Sparks fly. Oh, yeah. Just like sparks fly with me and Bodie. 
That's all. Dean, Bodie, sparks are flying all the time, baby. Oh, yeah. So I was thinking about the schmaltz, okay, how that all started back then. And I was thinking about the crumpets, right, that I learned from M's diary. And uh, I'm not sure if I had one or not, but according to her, I don't know what I'm missing. So we got to figure out I'm going to have to go to crumpets.com and get a case delivered to the house. So let's find out what these things really are and use A-L-E-X-A as an example. You know, I mean, as a little research, we have all these things at our fingertips now, man. YouTube, all kinds of podcasts, A-L-E-X-A for research. Hey, Alexa. What is schmaltz? According to Wikipedia, schmaltz is rendered chicken or goose fat. It is an integral part of traditional Ashkenazi Jewish cuisine, where it has been used for centuries in a wide array of dishes, such as chicken soup, latkes, matzah brai, chopped liver, matzah balls, fried chicken, and many others, either as a cooking fat, spread, or flavor enhancer. And gout flare upper. You forgot that. That's what you forgot. But that's, wow, that's some, come on, don't mess with A-L-E-X-A. This is my sidekick. She's the greatest. Hey, Alexa, what's a crumpet? According to Wikipedia, a crumpet is a small griddle cake made from an unsweetened batter of water or milk, flour, and yeast, eaten in the United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. Crumpets are regionally known as pikelets. A name also applied to a thinner, more pancake-like griddle bread. A type of the latter is referred to as a crumpet in Scotland. Wow! I did not think I was going to get that long of an explanation. But man, talk about a great joke of the day. Talk about a great definition about the schmaltz and the crumpet. Are we more educated now or what? When's the last time you did something for the first time? Sammy Hagar said that. How cool is that? When's the last time you did something for the first time? We all have a new opportunity. It's called tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I know it's not guaranteed to everybody and all that stuff. You can get into that. But you know what we're trying to say. Come on. So <laughs> put a little positive spin on this, and we're doing it. So Subway <laughs> is on, like, high alert with the fake tuna. And they tested it. And they actually sent it to the lab. And it came back with nothing about tuna whatsoever. And then they said, well, when you cook the tuna and all that, it removes all of the protein. And so it's undetectable. Listen, who cares? I've been a Subway fan for a long time. I will stay a Subway fan. I've had about, I don't know, maybe a thousand of their tuna sandwiches in my lifetime. I'm fine. Or maybe that explains a few things. But anyway, they just have a tuna variant, Dr. Fettuccine. That's all that's going on here. Anybody looking into Chicken of the Sea or uh, Starkist or Bumblebee tuna? What does a bumblebee have to do with tuna? What is chicken of the sea? Last time I checked, chickens don't swim. It turns out that the fishermen that were catching these kinds of fish and tuna noticed that it had the white texture and the tenderness of like a chicken. So they called it chicken of the sea. Very cute. Very funny. It's not funny anymore. Now that Subway's going through their variants and all that, maybe they just got a little tuna and they got some kind of fish down there that tastes like tuna. Let's call it the uh, zippity doo fish. <laughs> the zippity doo fish tastes like tuna, just like the monk fish tastes like lobster, just like that fake crab meat they stomp out of the, the stingray or the, whatever those fish are out of their um, fins, and they call it crab. Okay, so give it a rest with the subway. Who's... Busting Subway's you-know-whats. Huh? I like your tuna. Whatever it is. Maybe they got a little ayahuasca tuna. Maybe that's why I got a little zippity doo dah on my hoo-ha. Thank you very much, Subway. Maybe I'll order one of your tuna fish sandwiches today just to prove a point. All right, Dr. Fettuccine? Hey, Bodie, how you doing back there? All right. You know what I got to say about that when it comes to all of what we just talked about? Cha-ching, baby. So, 
man, we got so much going on over here. Let's see what's going on. Let me scroll down a little bit. Below, below, oh, I had cell phone elbow. You ready for that? Oh, my goodness. And uh, the pit bull that stole Bodie's tendon. That's a funny one, too. We got so many things. Oh, my gosh. Ever since T-Mobile, I was getting a lot of these scam callers. You know how you get that scam likely when they call? Excuse me. And uh, one Saturday, I had them all day long. And I'm calling them back and playing games with them. Can you remove me from your list? And he would go, oh, right, good, good, and play little games with me. So I would call back, and I would play games with him. It would go, hello, blah, 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 blah. And I'd go, oh, good, da, 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 wa, da, da, da. <laughs> and hang up. And I got, I, I'm like, I can't do this all day long. So it turns out that... Um, I Googled it, just like I do a lot of things. And it came up with like some kind of code you can put in to block the scam likely calls. So I put it in. And then the YouTube channel guy told me how to do it. And then as I watched the rest of the video, he goes, oh, and if you have T-Mobile, the app you can get, and they have that protective thing in there. I'm like, I have T-Mobile. I was a Sprint guy for a long time. Then now it's T-Mobile now. With the greatest network in the world. Thank you very much. But I got their app and it has the scam blocker right on it. And the thing's glowing and flashing. Okay? Like like it's some kind of uh, alien force. Like you're not going to get through this. I haven't had a problem since. Nice going, T-Mobile. You do what you say you're going to do. And that's how it's done, baby. So, no more scam likely calls. We're crushing it over here. Oh, by the way, if you have any thoughts on what I've said, with the, whether it's the schmaltz or the crumpets or, you know, the Star of David or turning water into wine and, you know, uh, the first 10 steps to Alcoholics Anonymous came down from the Mount Sinai. Thank you very much, Moses. You had it wrong. 800-878-9698. Say something nice. Say something fun. We're in comedy zone, baby. Take a deep breath on all this stuff. Don't get your uh, whatever's in a twist and have fun with this whole process. You got it? All right. So, Subway's Tuna, we're doing it. The variants are fine. Everything's good. Keep your immune system strong. Don't buy into all the hoopla because everything's got side effects. Keep your immune system strong. This way, when the little monster comes around, it's not going to bother you. That's how it works. Oh, yeah. There's always variants. The flu. Every year, it's a different kind of thing and all that other stuff. Okay? Wuhan market. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, um, I'm finding all these cool things, man, with Bodhi. And uh, when it comes to atmospheres, we like to change up the atmospheres in the living room. And we go to YouTube and you talk into your remote and ask it whatever. And I'm finding these starship cruisers like you're going through space. And I found a cool one. I, I think I was on the um, Starship Enterprise, man. And Bodie was sleeping in her bed, and I put this thing on. It's like you're in the cockpit of a Starship cruiser. You got to look into this stuff, you guys, and set up your atmosphere and make your atmosphere more fun. We're cruising through the Starship, right? And the stars are going by. And you're watching it on the big screen like you're inside the capsule, right? And all of a sudden, the ship turns to the left, and then it turns to the right, and then... Here comes a planet, and it goes into warp speed, and the stars go by faster, and all of a sudden, then it stops, like you just went through another time dimension. Mind blown. Nice going starship channel. I'm going into the catacombs. I'm going all over the different kinds of islands that we find. I'm doing coffee shops. I'm doing medieval castles. I'm Dracula's castle and all that kind of atmosphere. It's so cool. I don't even know how to put it in words. And then you can go to a little like country creek with the birds chirping and you're in the middle of like a forest and all of a sudden there's a beautiful waterfall with nature sounds and all that. It's, it's, it's endless and I'm loving it. 
I'm, can you tell by my excitement? Huh? I mean, can you really? Can you tell? Can you? Can you? Uh, where is it? What am I looking for? I'm looking for uh, this guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who's a good girl? She's the good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh yeah, the good girl, Bodie. Yeah, the best girl in the world. Oh yeah, DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698. Bodie hotline, phone line. Call the Bodie line. Say something nice to Bodie. She's waiting for you. Say whatever you want. We'll make it a feature on the show. That's how we'll do. We'll riff off one another. Not a problem here. We'll select a couple things. And we'll do it. If you like what's going on over here, please consider subscribing, okay? Click the like button, ring the notification bell, because you don't want to miss any of these shows. Why? Because these are real shows. We don't edit anything on the show. We go A to Z, we put it in the can. No safety net, no nothing. There's no retry. I don't redo it. I don't do it. We go one thing, and we put it in the can, and we rock and roll, and we bring the energy, and we... Make sure we have a, a bulletproof coffee and a functional whatever. Take our supplements, guzzle a little bit of water, fasten your seatbelt, and we get going over here, Dean Bodie Show. Oh, yeah. And if you don't mind, a nice five-star rating and review on the podcast would be good. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. If you go to DeanBodie.com, you got the links on there, right? You got one that'll get you over to the podcast, like I just said, Apple, Spotify, any uh, Amazon, Pandora, Breaker, um, where you tune in, uh, you, you name it, okay? Uh, Stitcher, um, Google, uh, all of the, all the platforms were on, okay? Just to name a few, it's kind of fun naming them. And the other link is on that gets you over to the YouTube channel, D E A N B O D I Space Show YouTube channel. Man, now. We got something special planned, but get ready. We're going to be doing a 30-day blitz with Dean Bodie Show. What does that mean? It's going to be coming. 30 days in a row of Dean Bodie Show. Can you handle it? Can I handle it? Oh, I don't know. Of course I can handle it because the first almost 200 episodes in a row, those of us of you that have been with me since the beginning, we used to do them daily. And we were doing two-a-days in the very beginning for a while. We did the teaser. And then I would do the show later that day. It was wild as I was getting used to this process and getting my chops and doing my thing and getting the whole zippity doo dah. Okay, and uh, it was wild. It, the Wichita lineman is still on the line. Glenn Campbell is in the brain. Oh, I love this guy. Um. I am a lineman for the county, and I drive the main road, searching in the sun for another overload. I hear you singing in the wire, I can hear you through the wine. And the Wichita lineman is still on the line. Man, get his greatest hits. I, you will not be disappointed. And uh, when you see um, it's times like these, the Foo Fighters, it took me right over there. <laughs> Oh my God, it's crazy where you go down these little rabbit holes. That's what's fun about all this technology we got, YouTube and all these things. Have fun with it. There's too much stuff going on for, to not to have fun. But this is why when you want to go to Goofy Land down Crazy Street, park it on Wacko Avenue for a while, you come Dean Bodie Show, take a nice break in your day, we're going to be coming at you. But the 30-day blitz, we're going to be doing soon, 30 days consecutive with Dean Bodie show. As soon as I, I got a few more packs of my 30 day Flora Blitz, and we have a whole nother 30 day box waiting. I'm going to take a little bit of break. I don't want to do too much days in a row of that. And then I'm going to do it combined. So it's going to be the 30 day Flora Blitz from, from my immune system, right? It's because I'm going to need it. And, uh, the 30 day blitz with the Dean Bodie show daily shows. How much fun is that? Are you ready for the next thing? I am. We're just getting warmed up today, gang. Let's do this. So, uh, oh, one more thing. 
A-L-E-X-A is so awesome, my sidekick, who I love very much, who has helped us already understand what a crumpet is, has helped us already understand what schmaltz is, gout-causing monster, and also, um, you know, the joke of the day. But when it comes to other things, right, like, hey, Alexa, who wrote the song Wichita Lineman? The song Wichita Lineman was written by Jimmy Webb and performed by Glenn Campbell. Written by Jimmy Webb. And according to Billy Joel, I went down that rabbit hole also, is one of America's icons with the songwriting and all of that stuff. How cool is that? The connections and all that. And to hear Billy Joel put this guy up on a pedestal who wrote the song that Glenn Campbell sang that took me to the greatest hits, that got me and saw the, 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 the other song that the Foo Fighters did. I mean, mind blown. Okay, mind blown. So get ready for Fortune Cooking Fun Day. Fortune Cooking, yeah, or Fortune Cookie. Say it any way you want to say it over here, Dean Bodie. Fortune Cookie Fun Day, as we do when I order from P.F. Chang's, my favorite uh, Chinese restaurant, they, they crush it, okay? Bodhi likes the northern style ribs, by the way. That's a nice treat for her. I like the, uh, the ginger broccoli chicken, delish. I like the spicy tuna roll, delish. And I also, they got... Uh, the great lo mein. I can go on and on about that, but they give me the fortune cookies. And I take the opportunity to have a fortune cookie fun day. And I just kind of wait till they do this. So it's kind of like spontaneous. And then we just go off and we riff off of it. Let me get my trusty magnifying glass out here. And we're going to go one at a time and see what we got. And they actually gave me a couple more than they did the time before that. So it's going to be a little bit longer. And I need a magnifying glass, smarty pants out there. Why? Because I'm far-sighted. I can see far, can't see near. I need new glasses, by the way. That's a whole nother show, me talking about what I got to go through to get glasses and a new prescription every year as the lobbyists make my life a little crazy. Look, if the year went by and I was walking and everything went black and I just fell down and hit my toches, then I would need new glasses. Why don't you take my word for it? I'm looking through my eyes on a daily. I'm letting you know that I can see okay. Can I just get some new frames? No, you need a new eye exam if it's been over a year. Deputy do da zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Making you get glasses our way. Zippity do da zippity a. Fortune cookie fun day. Here we go. Let's start with the first one here. And it says, invest time now to enjoy success later. See, I mean, what they're talking about there is put the work in now so later you can be, I don't know, debt free. Being financially independent and free is a very good thing. And uh, getting as you get older, easier is better, gang, not harder. So, you know, invest in yourself now so you don't have to do so much of it later. I remember an old friend of mine, um, he was a chiropractor. I was a chiropractor for some time. And he you know, was doing all kinds of stuff, busy, making money, really working hard. And he said to me one time, exactly something along those lines. He goes, I'm doing it now so I don't have to do it later. And when I see him on Facebook now, we'll just call him Dr. Greg, nice going, love ya. Um, When I see him on Facebook, he's enjoying himself in his life, you can tell, because he put the time in. Okay, so that being said, (laughs) <laughs> Fortune cookie fun day is fun. Let's see what the next one says. Are you ready? Hey, hold on a second. All right. The next one says, your lost item will be found next. <laughs> Whatever you lost, you're going to find. Hopefully. Oh, my gosh. I remember growing up as a kid and, uh, and I couldn't find something. One of my mother's favorite sayings was, well... Where'd you put it last? (laughs) If I knew that, I wouldn't be asking you. (laughs) So, Anyways, whatever that one, that was kind of an interesting one. Let's see what we got next. All right, very cool. (laughs) 
A calm mind will help you make your next decision. A calm mind will help you make your next decision. Man, this is Fortune Cookie Fun Day on steroids. So a calm mind, meaning when you're relaxed and you're functioning um, in a nice space and whatever, you're doing meditation and you're thinking clearly with good nutrition and supplementation and exercise, um, you think better. Things work out better. Your mind is more clear and you're functioning better. That's all. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, yeah. Fortune Cookie Fun Day, Dean Bodie Show. The next one says, we got two more. The next one says, be giving this week and you will receive great rewards. Hey, what you give out comes back. I have an older brother, big into volunteer work and all. Bravo to you, David, number one, with all your volunteer work. You put in more volunteer hours than anybody that I know. And uh, hey, God is shining down on you for sure. And it's inspired me to do some volunteer work or donating to a cause or something like that. Start thinking about that maybe today, you guys, and start, you know, volunteer or do something nice for a neighbor like the guy across the street. My Muslim friend, maybe some baked goods. My neighbors over here, beautiful black family over here, gave me some great soul food. Um, I mean, how much fun is that? Bodhi says hi to all my neighbors. They're loving it. Um, I had a beautiful picture that I posted on Facebook of uh, the wonderful Asian couple across the way. They live over by the mailboxes and the daughter that's Bodhi's known since she was being pushed around in a stroller. And now when they see each other, she's like, Bodhi, Bodhi. Bodhi kisses her on the nose. I can go on and on about the joy that Bodhi brings to not only me, but to everybody in the neighborhood. She's the joy vitamin, constant joy vitamin. The last fortune cookie fun day, (laughs) as we shatter the glass in the world, well, I said that for a reason, because I had that sound effect. (laughs) How cool is that? And uh, happy 4th of July, everybody. You know, uh, before I get into this one, I wanted to let you know that I do these supplementations called Sleep Mode from the Bulletproof Guy. And it's got um, melatonin and things like that to help you sleep and relax. And there's other product he has that also has the collagen protein in it that you can drink down. Lots of gas, Bulletproof Guy. Lots of gas. So it's hard to sleep, all right, when you're waking yourself up with the farts. Let's be honest. Do you remember that scene in Good Will Hunting with Matt Damon and Robin Williams? And, and, and uh, Robin Williams is talking about his wife who passed, but all the little idiosyncrasies that used to make him laugh, and he thinks about that and all the good times that he misses with her. And he ta- told a story to Matt Damon how she woke herself up with one of her farts in the middle of the night. And they were cracking up. Hey, as George Carlin says, farts are funny. Oh, yeah. So the last fortune cookie, fortune cookie fun day, get ready, is... Drum roll, please. You will soon receive great advice. Don't ignore it. Oh, wow. See, you never know where it's going to come from. Hopefully, Dean Bodie Show is giving you some great advice and some things. And, you know, I got that one gem from Sammy Hagar. When's the last time you did something for the first time? That's what's going on. We're coming up on the top of the hour here. Wow, we're doing it today, Dean Bodie. There was a couple other things here. Let's see here. Um, Wow, so much going on. And uh, the Florida Blitz and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. The one song that I'm going to enter, and we're going to wrap it up on this one. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. Now the ceiling has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. Good day, sir. So, um... What I wanted to get into the last thing was, uh, I just had it a second ago, and um, this is important because the uh, the zippity doo songs that we do, there was one that I think in the Grammy Awards, they should have a category called zippity doo song. So I can enter my chicken leg zippity doo song, it's a shoe in to win. 
okay? Way down upon the Swanee River, far, far away. Tonight we're cooking chicken legs for dinner to pass the time away. Oh, yeah. Dean Bodie Show, DeanBodie.com. She's a good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah, the good girl, Bodie. Yeah, the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698. Dean Bodie Hotline. Fun line. Call it. Say something nice to Bodie. Say your first name, where you're from. We'll give it a shout out on the show. Sing your little zippity doo dah song. Believe me, we will sing it with you. And um, let's have some fun with this. Call it. Say something. Give us your thoughts on what all the stuff that we were talking about today, which is a lot. And uh, happy 4th of July, everyone. Get ready soon because the 30-day blitz, which is 30 days in a row of Dean Bodie's show, is coming very soon. Get ready. Maybe the next one that we do is going to launch off the one, and I'm just going to hit you with it and go get ready the next 30 days and put myself in the hot seat. Bodie says I can do it. I said, Bodie, you can do it too. I know we can do it. Right, Bodie? That's right. This is how we're going to do it here. Have an awesome 4th of July. Stay safe. And uh, hey, do something nice for a neighbor. Be positive. And like Sammy Hagar said, we'll end it on this note. When's the last time you did something for the first time? And uh, hey, do something new. Let's do it. DeanBody.com. Oh, yeah.